ran through every deluded piece of left-wing legislation that they've ever wanted, that they've ever dreamt of. Your religious liberty will be gone. Your Second Amendment will be gone. Your borders and Great New Wall will be gone. Your police departments will be gone as we know them, and your life savings will be gone. will be like a large-scale version of so many other countries that you look at that are poverty. America, as you know it, will be over, and it will never, I believe, be able to come back again. It'll be too far gone. Your vote tomorrow could lose, and it could be your last chance to save. Salaam, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rechakodash. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, the Holy One of Israel, whom the world in calls God. In the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, whom the world in calls Jesus Christ. In the name of the Holy Spirit, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And peace and mercy to the house of David the elect, the 144,000 men. Doing his one, uh, doing his work in sincerity and truth, and the one third of you believers out there, you men, women, and children that listen, learning, and helping in all sincerity and humility, to you all I say shalom and greetings. Uh, Lord, when this lesson is edifying through the spirit and power, Yahweh bless you, Yahshua. Um, so I, a lot of you brothers and a few sisters have seen uh, the video clip that I just played of uh, Donald Trump. Uh, you know, and I, you know, it's a couple things that come from that. Uh, you know, this could be Donald Trump, uh, so to speak, whistleblowing. All right. And that's a, that's something that a lot of people don't take into consideration. It might seem like he's talking about uh, what do you say? The left, the far left, you know, uh, that are uh, doing these things. But he could be rebelling against the so-called elites uh, right now, you know, by saying uh, America's is, America is too far gone in which he's right. You know, uh, he's saying that if they gain control that's going to be the position that we're in but we're in that position already and, and those who are in the know and those who are in the spirit know that it's too late for uh america actually i wasn't going to bring that out first but you know the spirit is having me do so so i'm going to go uh to the book of jeremiah i'm going to go to the 51st chapter all right uh jeremiah 51 hold on it's lock here Jeremiah 51. And verse, I'm going to start at verse 8. It says, uh, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain, if so she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go, everyone into his own country, for her judgment reaching unto heaven and is lifted up even unto the skies. Okay, you see that? So, hey, it's it's too late. It's too late, Americans. It's too late, Babylon. You know, America, you 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 average everyday Joe Schmoes, you average everyday people, you average everyday two-thirds of our nation. You're so preoccupied with worrying that America is going to return. But the scriptures confirm that Babylon has fallen, man. All right? It says, take balm for her pain, right? So, balm goes into... A medicine, a healing medicinal medication, right? But there's no medicine that can cure this place. America is too far gone. This country is too far gone. All right, with the uh, the debt, with the um, the uh, the pandemic. All right, with the uh, the new world agenda. This place is too far gone, and it's not it's not bouncing back, and it's not going to be in the favor. Of uh, your your everyday person, man. Okay, and they want Babylon to be healed, but it's not healed, man. You know, as I like to say time and time over again, this is all you people watch that Dante Wilder fight. All right, this is just like when he took that shot to the ear. You knew the fight was over. All right, you knew that it was going down here, and there was no chance for him. And America, uh, the the Heavenly Father Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, His Son, they have punched this country in the ear, man. OK. And Donald Trump is now blowing the whistle and uh, and saying these things. He probably is saying these things out of order, man. He may get taken out. You don't know, you know, but he spoke of taking away the people's uh, liberties and the people's uh, amendments and rights and freedoms. <coughs> so like, and this is why you got to have faith in your how about Shemel Shai. Right. All right. This is uh, James one. And twenty five, it says, but whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty 
and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. Okay, you see that? So uh, the, this is the true law of liberty because America, they're about to, they're about to start taking away your civil, your civil liberties here. And we know that through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua and the scriptures confirm that. Actually, let me, let me uh, jump over here real quick. Um, let's see, second Ezra uh, 15 and 14. It says, woe to the world and them that dwell therein, destruction to the world and you people. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and sword with swords in their hands. For there shall be addition among sedition among men, and invading one another, they shall not regard princes, uh, kings, nor princes. And the course of the power shall course of their actions shall stand in their power. All right. So we're we're starting to see all these things uh, come upon the earth. It says a man shall desire to go into a city and not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled and the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Right. So we're about to start seeing these countries. Uh, uh, we're about to see start seeing this country fall apart piece by piece. OK, but the, your your average everyday citizen is not paying attention to the signs of the times. They're not paying attention to what's going on. And that's what the scriptures say. Uh, when peace and safety, then shall uh, uh, sudden destruction come upon them, man. All right. These people are are in a state of confusion. Now you have what it, the brother that put originally put up this video. I believe the brother Bakwar Moth, you know, he said uh, it said um, straight out of the horse's mouth, you know, straight out of the horse's mouth, man. You heard. Donald Trump said himself what's about to happen in America. How how much more clear can it be? But this is how you know that our Lord has uh, completely blinded these people from seeing the truth, right? They're, they're not going to get this. They're not going to understand it. They're not going to see it all until it's too late. That's when everything is going to be, um, you know, up for grabs. Oh, oh the, the guys that were on the street, they were telling the truth. Hey, but the judgment of America is, is coming upon this place, man. All right. Um, I wanted to get a certain scripture. This is Mark 3 and 25. I started uh, 20, 24. And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand, but hath an end. You see that? So that's what's happening to America because you have the, what they call it, left wing and right wing, leftists and rightists, right? You have uh, the people that are uh, following Donald Trump and you have those that are following Joe Biden. You have the Republicans and Democrats. And they're about to have this vote, uh, which is actually today um, because it's after 12 now about this, uh, this, uh, Electoral college to determine who's truly the president of the United States, right? And there's a great chance that Joe Biden is going to win, but Donald Trump is going to be in a fist foot. Hey, they might try to take him out. All right, who knows, man? But the, the time of your liberties, you people's everyday liberties are about to be taken away, man. It's about to be snatched up. And do you think that the Heavenly Father is going to regard it? No, because he's the one that did it. Because at the end of the day, you people regard more of America's civil liberties then you regard the liberties of uh, your power, Yahweh Shem Yahshai, because he, uh, at the end of the day, he's the one who, who's really granting our liberty. You know, liberty goes into what? Freedoms, right? You know, uh, libertad in the Spanish, you know, but li liberty goes, um, goes into uh, having freedom. So certain freedoms from these people are about to be taken away, man, while they're arguing about nonsense. Uh, this is First uh, Peter 2, and 16, it says, as free and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, but as the servants of the Most High, right? So we have liberty through Yahweh Shai right now. But many of our people are using that for a cloak of maliciousness. So when the time of Jacob's trouble approaches, he's going to utterly destroy these people, man. All right, because let me go to, uh, back to the book of Second Ezra. I want to go to the ninth chapter. Oh, we have a, we're living with a, a truly a foolish nation. 
All right, that know not the most high. All right, this is second Ezra 9 and 11. It says, I started 10. Ooh, nine, second Ezra 9 and 9. Then they shall be in pitiful case, which have now abused my ways, and that they have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law while they yet had liberty, and when as yet the place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. You see that? So they yet had liberty of the Lord. They had the freedom of the Lord to uh, the space and the opportunity for mercy to come back and to repent. But America, all right, two thirds of our, our people can repent. I mean, two thirds of our people that have the opportunity to repent, but they won't. They won't do it. But you, you heathen, you other nations, you so you Edomites, you so called white people, you can't repent, man. America is is over for you. And you can pray, uh, God bless America. You can say all of that nonsense. It's it's over for this place, man. And if you don't see it, you're foolish. You are a foolish person, man. Okay. And I'm gonna get this verse, and we're speaking about uh, the nation of Edom, man. But this is ultimately how you people are acting. This is uh, Hebrews 12 and 16. It says, Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For you know that afterward he would have inherited the blessing. He was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. So you people can cry for healing. You can cry for medication. You can cry for the Heavenly Father to have mercy on you. But America is over, man. You know, this place is going down, down, baby, you know, and we're we're thanking the Lord for that. Right. Why? It's because this is what we, we've been searching for. You know, we mentioned uh, Babylon is falling. Let me get that real quick. You know, it said Babylon is suddenly falling, man. You know, the, all these people are waiting on you know, this is my year. This is my new year. All of that nonsense. All right. We're about to see, man. The Lord might get this thing popped off in the next couple of weeks. Lord willing, man. But you people, like, y'all not thinking about that. You're thinking about yourselves. You're thinking about how this your year, how everything's about to be great. The Lord got something set up for y'all, man. All right? And they, they see, see their vaccine isn't working. All right? They're about to push this chip on y'all, man. This new world order is about to overtake you people. But the Heavenly Father and His Son are going to have the true new world order. This is uh, uh, Revelation 18 and 2. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the great is fallen, is fallen, and become the habitation of devils. And the hold of every foul spirit in the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. So the time for America to fall is upon us, man. You know, this country is collapsing on all sides. And the people are too foolish. It's now now you have Donald Trump telling this to your face. How much more do you need? All right? Isn't he said and what did it, what was the irony about what he said is he says, um, when he mentioned uh, uh America is not is too far gone. His claim to fame when he came into presidency is make America great again. And now he's saying it's too far gone. It's going to be like one of the other countries, uh, the, a third world country, if of uh, the other 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 group wins, man. Right. But that's because this, this place can't stand. All right. How can they stand? They're divided. It says for all of the nations have drunk of the wine of her wrath of her fornication and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth are wax witch through the abundance of our delicacies. Right? All these other nations act like America and they get rich off of the consumerism in this place. It says, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her plagues, that you receive not, her, that you be not partakers of her sins and that you receive not of her plagues. And that's referring to the deliverance that the elect are going to hear to uh, be beamed up out of this place. Lord willing, we be of that number. Verse five, it says, for her sins have reached into heaven. And the most high has remembered our iniquity. So that's why America is too far gone. Your, your sins is reaching up into the heavens to the point where it's it's over. It's a, it's a consuming uh, amount of uh, wickedness in this plan. Man, it's too much. Where the Heavenly Father is like, okay, it's, it's time to come save my men. And it's time to destroy the wicked. And this is uh, 2 Ezra 4 and uh, 62. Uh, let me start at 60, 61. It says, And therefore is my judgment now at hand. These things I have not shown unto all men, but unto thee, and of a few like thee. Then I answered and said, Behold, O Lord, now hast thou shown me the multitude of the wonders which... Uh, is that what I wanted? Salakia. Oh, no, no, no. That's three, Salakia. My bad. 
Hey, but the judgment is now at hand. It says that verse 61, the judgment is now at hand. I wanted 2nd Ezra 4. That was 2nd Ezra 3. Let me flip over to this real quick. 2nd Ezra 4. Oh, 1st Ezra. That's why I'm tripping. I'm like going all over the place. So forgive me, Akim. Uh, Jump over. It's 2. Chapter 4. In verse 62, and I believe this is the building of the wall, but it says, uh, second Ezra 4 and 61, it says, and he so he took the letters and went out and came into Babylon and told it to all his brethren. And they praised the power of their fathers because he have given them freedom and liberty, right? Why, why he's given us freedom and liberty. It goes about <coughs> speaking about going up and building that, that tabernacle, bringing that building that temple. And that's what we're doing. So we have liberty and freedom in Yahweh Shah. So what if America takes away your liberties? We got liberty and a freedom in our Lord, man. It says, and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Right? So even if they try to take away the things that we have, they can't take away what we ultimately have, which is the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. They can't take that away from us. You know, it says, what shall separate us? Right? The, 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 uh, nothing can separate us from the love of the Most High. Right? This is uh, 2 Ezra 8 and 56. I started 54. It says, Sorrows are past and in the end it showed the treasure of immortality. That's what we're looking forward to for the kingdom. And therefore ask, ask thou no more concerning questions concerning the multitude of them that perish. For when they had taken liberty, they despised the Most High, thought scorn of his law, and forsook his ways. Moreover, they have trodden down his righteous and said in their heart that there is no God, yea, and that knowing they uh, must die, right? So that's that's Esau, Edom, ultimately, right? But he's, he's also uh, got um, our people, two-thirds of our people, forsaken and despising the law of the Most High, forsook his ways, thought scorn of his law, right? They they despise his, his words, man, all right? They loathe his law. So the Heavenly Father is about to judge Babylon, America. And this place is going to fall and it's not going to rise anymore, man. It's going to be over for Babylon, America. And we're clapping and applauding at that. Okay, so hey, uh, may, may this thing pop off quick, man. And we about to see what happened with, with this candidacy, man. You know, we about to see what, what befalls America. Cause this thing may bring a further division upon Babylon, America. So hey, Lord, in this lesson was edifying. I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to the Hawa by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone and peace and mercy to the house of David the elect. Until next time, Shalom.